host, Dr. Christy Ennis, physical therapist, certified strength and conditioning specialist, and nutritionist. And today I am going to show you how to get a stronger low back. You can do this all at home. You don't need any equipment, which is kind of cool, just your own body weight. I am going to show you some alternatives with a band if you want something a little bit different. But it won't take you all that long to do. And like I said, you can do this right at home. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, we know our low back is right down here in our low back, but what is going to help that low back even more is if when we're activating this area a little bit and these spinal muscles around, is if we engage those glutes and then the muscles above, the lats, the middle part of the trapezius, those are also our stability muscles and they really help the low back work even more. So it's important that you're not trying to just isolate those back muscles because that is not how they work best. So that is why I'm going to show you the exercises I'm going to show you today. So number one, we're going to lie down right on our back. We're going to go feet a little bit apart, excuse me, a little bit out from our butts, but try to keep them relatively close. Heels together, toes open. So now we're actually using that external rotation, which actually gets those glutes working even more. So first part is just a bridge. Now remember what I said, not only do we want to add the glutes, but we want to add up here too. So I'm going to take my elbows and press right down into the ground as I lift. And I'm going to engage some of those upper stability muscles too. If that doesn't feel good, you can keep those arms right down by your side and press down and still get some of those same muscles. If you want to add a little more oomph and flair, go ahead and grab a loop band. You're going to keep one arm up and then as you lift, pulling right down towards the ground. So you can do one arm at a time, five or ten repetitions, and then switch and do that other arm. Same idea. Try to keep that arm that's pointing straight up to the ceiling nice and straight. Don't let it move around. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to come up right onto my hands and knees. You guys have probably seen that traditional bird dog exercise, right, where you're going one arm straight out in front and the other leg back. That's a great one, but to really target some of the other stability muscles up in here, we're going to concentrate on squeezing that shoulder blade, and I'm going to come out in a little bit of a Y. That's going to help me use those middle trapezius and rhomboid muscles, making sure not to hike that shoulder though, that's really important. Squeeze into that shoulder blade. Notice that means I don't lift quite as high when I do that. And obviously make sure that you're doing both sides, please, okay, that's important. If you want to add a little bit more work here, if you take, place that band around those wrists or those hands, then we're going to add a little row in this time. So same idea, a little bit more resistance here now that we're adding that band but making sure to keep everything just as nice and steady as if you were doing it without the band, okay? And then lastly, I'm gonna come right down on my stomach. You wanna try to keep your head nice and straight, so rest that forehead down. So if you need to put a towel there so you can um, breathe, <laughs> that's always important too. Thinking again about squeezing into those shoulder blades, legs are tight, extra squeeze into that butt, and then lifting both. I'm not lifting my head up because that's not good on the neck. And I'm making sure not to use my neck muscles. I'm really squeezing into those shoulder blades. Now, I do not <laughs> have very much of a lift in my legs because my body just doesn't move that way. So you do the best you can too. But now I'm getting glutes, lower back, and some of those upper stability muscles too. Voila. Shoot for about 10 repetitions of each of those. Make sure, as always with any other exercise, that you don't actually have pain doing them. You want to feel the muscles working, but you don't want to have pain. Super duper important there. So awesome job. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Stay tuned for more. Check out my website, too, at drchristianis.com to sign up for my newsletter for more on injury prevention, treatment, and exercise. Thanks, guys.